me the potato chips critic or actually anything salty savory and snacky critic and I consume them so you don't have to I also give you some small advices about what is tasty what is not tasty and how much it actually costs for your own value anyway let's get things out of the way first uh, for my foreign uh, viewers in case there is any it is a spe special occasion for the Atha, so we have some kind of vacation, but not me mainly because I usually work, because it's a busy time for us, but today work decided to give us a day off. So I'm home, I have a few moments to spare, so I decided to make a video. And today, as you say, already saw from the thumbnail or from the title, uh, there's a new chips that I found, but it has some kind of a sad story regarding it, so I'll have to share it. It's actually something that I like. It's a nice chips. It's not bad at all. But I do have a couple of problems with it. And we'll talk about it during the video. First introduction. It's this. It's from a company called Dolce. They're both wavy. Waves. But uh, here is where the deception starts. When you see waves on the title, you think something like, I don't know what that... That ruffles, you know, it's, uh, ruffles is just like clay, but it has ridges and it has waves. This one claims to have waves, so first thing I thought it was like ruffles, but no, it isn't. And we'll explain more. It has two uh, flavors, salted and vinegar. Realize, it didn't say salt and vinegar, they just said vinegar. But if you look at the picture, it says crispy potato snacks, they have uh, a bottle of wine, and uh, salt shaker but actually that's a bottle of vinegar but i'm just making fun of it so anyway this is salt and vinegar and this is the salted so what can we know about this it's called dolce 100 percent crispy snacks it's not 90 percent it's not 99 percent it's 100 percent crispy so you'll get a hundred percent crispiness when you eat this or consume it it's a nice blue one i don't know why maybe it is because the sea sea salt or something and this is green. Uh, you can realize the theme when it says salt and vinegar, it's always a green bag for some reason. Anyway, let's see behind. It's waves. There's potato starch. Remember, it's not potato. It's potato starch, vegetable oil, potato flour, wheat flour, rice flour. That's a lot of flours. There's rye flour and wheat starch, corn flour, salt, sugar flavors, flavor enha enhancer, uh, monosodium, Glutamate, MSG, holy shit, Uncle Rogers will be proud. Oh my god, Uncle Roger, look at this, it has MSG in it, oh my god. The king of flavor in this video. Uh, whatever, whatever, store in a cool, dry place, keep away from sunlight. Mainly in a vampire coffin, that's an uh, uh, ideal place. Oh, conservé dans un endroit frais et sec. Cool, is frais, nice. Gardez loin des rayons de soleil. Oh mon dieu. Yohfaz fi makan barid wa jaf ba'idan ashar shams. Mithla qalbi. Expiration date, it's uh, by uh, the end of the year. Dulce, customer satisfaction, Dulce Industries. Uh, always fresh, always crunchy, and it's salted. Yeah, that's it. This is nice. Nutrition fact. Hey, if you're gonna eat potato chips, who gives a fuck about nutrition fact? This is not good for you. This is basically poison. But we all like poison because you like poison. That's an old, uh, what do you call it? Alice Cooper uh, song? What an awesome dude. I just love him as a kid in the 80s. Anyway, this is one. This is basically the same. Mainly all the difference. There's some vinegar in it. There's some heft to it. It's not very light though. My best of friend though. Aha. Uh -huh. Again and again and again, yeah. Like my old friend Bassam told me, the weight is next to expiration. It's 40 grams. Holy crap. It's 40 grams. Anyway, you get away, you bastard. Let's take one as just an example. Let's tell you my problem with this. Uh, Dulce, uh, I don't know. I tried a few things from them I didn't enjoy, but this I decided to 
take my chances and try it. It turned out well. But the biggest problem, it was 2,500 Lebanese Lira. That was nice. Came back after a while to purchase. It's now 4,000 Lebanese Lira. And God Almighty knows how much this is now. I suspect around 5,000 to 6,000. That's not worth it. For 2.5K, that's nice. For 4K, mm, doubt. But for more than 4K, 5K or 6K, no, I'll pass. 40 grams for a dry uh, snack, that's not much. There's not much flavor in this, so that's a huge problem. Anyway, with this out of the way, let's do a money shot. M -m 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 money shot, and that opened beautifully. Uh, you have to respect the company when the bag opens well. Here's the money shot. Now let's do the comparison. We closed it. You get this much. Must, must, yeah. This much ships in a bag from such a bag. It's not even half of it. They're not lying. They said 40 gram. This is 40 gram. This doesn't look like 40 gram. It's 40 gram, but it looks much bigger and much more intimidating. This doesn't assert dominance in any way. You get this much ships anyway. Let's open the bloody thing. Let's take a prime example of a chip from it. Uh, by the way, they're all in. Pretty awesome shape, nothing is broken, and here it is, the culprit. There is waves in it, they are not lying, but the way the chip is not like lays or anything, it looks puffy, uh, I don't know, like a rice crispy or something? That's it. Very important note, it's dry as hell, it's drier than my sex life, it's drier than my imaginary girlfriend genital parts, yeah. There's actually nothing there, not even a sign of wetness. That's what they call a dry land, an unfertile land. So, imagine chewing on a bone. That's kind of the feeling you'll get when you eat this ship. But by God almighty, I cannot stop munching it because it's super crunchy. So, how about I take a crunch, I take a bite, I take a mouthful of this, and you can hear it for yourself. And then you'll say, Rami, that crunchiness is amazing from that bag. Anyway, here it goes. It reminded me of that song, Bye Bye Miss American Bye. Took the Chevy to the levee, but the Dolce Wave ships were dry. It's not bad. There's no flavor, I swear to you. Not even a, a huge hint of salt. But there's one thing, it's crunchy. It's a bit salty, it's savory. Uh, and it has a pleasant feeling, I can say. So it's not bad. This one is practically the same, but it has a strong vinegar taste in it. It's not bad at all. But this one is very mild to eat. This one, in case you like vinegar, but trust me, the vinegar in this one the, is strong. It's very strong. So not bad, but this one, it's okay for a normal snack. Uh, you won't mind it. It's not offensive. There's nothing wrong about it, but there's not, nothing that much good about it. It's very dry. Not too much salty, it's incredibly crispy. This 100 crispy snack uh, guarantee where they say 100 always fresh, always crunchy. And the fresh part, I don't know, but it's not stale. I can say that. But the uh, crunchy is it's great. Salted, uh, it's a bit hit and miss. But anyway, it passes. I'll give it a 6 over 10. But regarding the prices, I am not that sure. Anyway, this was my video for the Dolce. 100% crispy snacks and it's fine that was one that one was upside down but who really, really cares anyway that was my snack review for the week the month the year who cares it's pretty much shit everywhere so anyway catch you in the next video and trust me on Saturday I'm going for a, for a snack hunt and I hope I get some nice snacks I will uh, sacrifice a, a little money uh, so I get something pretty interesting for me to review because it's been a while since I reviewed something incredibly nice Anyway, thank you for watching. Please for the love of God. Just put a like make a comment subscribe The road to 1000 subs is still strong. Anyway, thank you so much And I hope to catch you next 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 time man. I'm, I'm really I really suck at talking anyway I catch you all next time. Goodbye Change the world.